Hey, you guys, so real quick, before we get into take two of this song, I wanted to explain to you guys the reason for making two takes in this video, mainly because this is for the people that, you know, they said they say it's constructive criticism that I see in the comments, and it's this weird myth that, you know, just because I can do chops or any, most drummers can do chops, that doesn't, that means that they can't play pocket. And their version of pocket, basically, they just can't play a song straight. And I, I don't, I, I definitely disagree with that. There are some drummers that basically, they, they're, there's some of them out there. But to like basically assume based off the fact that they can, that they can play certain chops and stuff like that, I, I completely disagree. Like it's literally playing straight is the easiest thing ever. Like it just takes discipline, and it's not hard to get discipline. All of my drum covers that you see on my channel, I'm not auditioning for anybody. It's not a video audition. I'm submitting to uh, popular artists to check it out and, and see if I'm good enough to tour or anything. This is this is Joshua Crawford's channel. I'm playing how I want and how I feel like playing. Like, I'm not, I understand how to play in a gig. I understand how to play behind an artist. Like, uh, if you guys haven't checked out a video I did on what I believe and understand about how to play pocket, I'll leave it down in the description below. Make sure to check that out. And some of you know what I'm talking about, but I, I'm talking to, I, I'm assuming you guys are new subscribers that are in my comments saying what you're saying and uh, giving me tips on how to groove and giving me tips on, well, you shouldn't have did this. You could have played it more simpler. I, I, I know I, I, I've been playing for a long time. I, I, I know, I even feel when I'm doing too much and I feel like when I shouldn't do certain things because I have the experience behind it. So that, that's all I want to put out there at the moment. And, um, if you're still watching this, make sure you hit that like button. It helps the video reach out to more of you guys. And in this take, I'm just gonna play it the way I feel like playing it because it's my channel. I'm not gigging. This is not a tour. Like, this is not an audition. This is literally me playing it the way I wanna play it. That, that's how I approach all of my drum covers. I know, shout out to Carlo. And I'm gonna do a lot more reaction for Carlo. Carlo had to do the same type of video because they saw how gifted he was with chops and he literally had to make a video where he just played the groove the whole video. Some of you guys believe that that's hard for talented drummers to do. I don't I don't, under, I don't understand why people think it's harder for an experienced musician to do less. I, I don't understand that, I really don't. I hope you guys paid attention to my first take because I literally played it straight. Sounds great, it does. But I'm playing the way I want to play and how the song feels to me. I'm having fun with this. I had fun playing it straight. Was it easy? Of course. Of course it was. So like, shout outs to every one of you musicians out there that already know this. You're gifted with being able to learn different combinations and different ways to be more vocal on the drums and you understand when to do it and when not to do it and you know and you can feel how to take the right approach to certain songs and stuff like that and yeah shout out to you guys because i know you're out there it's, i just have to let that be known because it's a lot of you out there that just assume when people play chops they can't play a, a song straight or they need chops to play through a song. That's completely false. There's some people out there, but the majority of them are gifted and know what they're doing. So yeah. Huh, here's take two, me playing it the way I want to play it and how I feel like playing it. All right, so here we go.